This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. Hi, I'm Cindy Harris. Welcome to Come for Tea. Our first theme tea. Join me as I have my friend over and we have an Irish tea together. So let me show you how I did my table setting. As you can see, I just followed the regular guidelines for having an afternoon tea, but this time I did add green napkins because it's Irish, and I added some sliced lemon because I'm gonna be serving an Irish breakfast tea, and a bit of sliced lemon goes nicely with that. I am also going to be putting on the table some whipped butter. That goes great with the soda bread that I'm gonna be serving. So let's start talking about our savory items we're gonna serve. I'm gonna be serving two savories, a corned beef tea sandwich and an open-faced Irish cheddar and apple tea sandwich. They're both delicious, and because I'm serving a sturdy Irish breakfast tea, it can handle the big flavors of the corned beef. Let's start with our tea sandwiches. I'm going to use a nice dark rye bread. I've had it in the freezer, so it's really, really cold. And I'm gonna start by trimming off all the um, edges. And I wanna have, when I'm done trimming, nice, long, rectangular slices of bread. So now that I have my bread all nicely sliced up, I'm gonna go ahead and get some light mayonnaise and some spicy brown mustard. It's about, you know, half and half. And I'm gonna make a, a little uh, mixture that I can then spread on the bread. I just went to the deli at my grocery store and got some very thin sliced corned beef and I went ahead and I'm putting on about two slices per sandwich I'm kind of folding it because I want to keep the meat inside the bread as much as I can once I get all the meat on then I just take the other piece of bread, pop it on top, give it a little press down. Now these tea sandwiches are way too big for an afternoon tea, so I'm gonna take each rectangle and cut it in half, so from one rectangle I get two nice little squares. Now I can make these tea sandwiches two or three hours ahead, so all I have to do is once I get them all cut up, I take some paper towel and I run it under the water and I squeeze it out so there's hardly any water left in it. And then I'm gonna drape that over my tea sandwiches. That will help keep the moisture in. And then I just get some saran wrap, cover it all up, and then I pop it in the refrigerator. Now these next little open face sandwiches are so easy and so good. I just take an Irish cheddar cheese, a loaf of, um, you could get a potato bread or buttermilk bread, this is a sheep herder's bread, and an apple, just got a gala apple from the grocery store. Now this cheddar, I want to leave it just in the shape it's in, but I just want to cut it into, oh, about one eighth to one quarter inch slices. Then I'm gonna take my apple. Now notice I'm not cutting it in half. I don't want a hole in the apple. I'm just gonna take about three or four slices and then I'm gonna turn the apple and cut three or four more slices. Now for an open face sandwich, you don't need to worry about having the bread in the freezer. So I'm just gonna cut the edges off, get it into a nice long rectangle, and then I'm gonna start cutting the bread down the middle so I have these nice long fingers, and then in half, and if you'll notice, each of these slices of bread ends up being about the size of my Irish cheddar cheese slice. Then I'm just gonna take my apple, now that's too big, the big round, cut it in half, notice it fits nicely on the slice of bread. I couldn't have engineered this any better if I had tried, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a slice of apple on each slice of the bread. 
and then I'll take one slice of the Irish cheddar cheese and just pop that right on top. It's not any more difficult than that. Now you can make these quite a few hours in advance as well. You just cover with, with saran and pop them in the refrigerator. Now, when you are ready to cook them, all you have to do is pop them under the broiler and that cheese melts beautifully. It only takes about two or three minutes. They are a really good tea sandwich. Now we're gonna make some Irish soda bread. And for that, we need four cups of flour, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter of a cup of sugar. We're just gonna to toss that together. Then we're gonna get a half a cup of butter, and I like to cut it up into little cubes and pop it into the flour. It makes blending it together a lot easier. Then take your pastry blender and you're just going to want to break that butter up into some smaller pieces. The pieces of butter should end up being, oh, about the size of peas when you're done. Then you're going to want to add a cup of dried fruit. Now these fruit bits have everything that I like, the apricots, the cherries, and the raisins, but then they also have little bits of apple in them too, so I thought I'd give that a try. Just toss that in the flour and then set that aside. Now for the wet ingredients, you're gonna want a cup and a half of buttermilk, and then you're gonna wanna put in an egg and a teaspoon of baking soda. And that baking soda and the buttermilk are gonna kind of mix together and that's what's gonna make this bread rise. Put the wet ingredients in with the dry and start mixing it up. This is going to be a fairly sturdy batter, but it won't take you more than just a couple of minutes to get it all mixed up. Just make sure that all that flour is mixed in. Now it's time to get your baking sheet ready, so put a piece of parchment down. And this dough can either make two large Irish soda breads or three small to medium size Irish soda breads. Well, I'm gonna go with the small to medium today. So on this baking sheet, I can really only get two uh, loaves at a time. So I'm gonna divide the dough in thirds and put two of the thirds on this sheet and then I'll save the other one and bake it off uh, later. just going to get a little flour on my hand and sort of pat these out into some little rounds. And then I'm going to take a sharp knife. I'm going to make a little X across the top of each loaf. And then I'm going to make a little egg wash. So I'm going to take one egg and just a little bit of water not much, and I'm gonna kind of mix that up real well. And then I'm going to use a pastry brush and just brush that all over the top of both of the loaves of bread. Now these are gonna cook in a 375 degree oven for about 25 minutes for this size loaf. Again, get it right off your baking sheet so they stop cooking. They should be this nice golden brown color. Now before I serve my Irish soda bread, I'm gonna cut it into some nice small wedges for tea. Now for this tea, I didn't feel I needed a lot of sweets, but I did want to have some. So I got some foil wrapped chocolates that are in the shape of little shamrocks. I thought those were cute. And then at the chocolate shop, they also made a divinity that was in the shape of a potato and it was dusted with cocoa and cinnamon on the top. So I thought that would also be really cute. And then I can slice that up at the table. our lovely Irish tea. I brought some cold milk out. The Irish breakfast tea, if you decide to serve that, it, some people do like to have a little milk with it. But there's our savories, our Irish soda bread, our little sweets. And uh, this is a really fun and easy tea to put together for you and a friend. For more information on this episode, 
go to our website and visit the Come For Tea show notes. Also, if you have any questions or ideas, send us an email. Thanks for watching. It's time for tea. Thank you.